I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. I love it! Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. This weekend, we're in California for a very special episode where the weekender goes to the farm. I'm in Fort Jones, California on Five Mary's Farms, and it's a cattle ranch. They have everything here. Chickens, pigs, cows, you name it, they've got it. The really cool thing is this is a family-run business. Brian and Mary and their four daughters, also all named Mary, thus the Five Mary's name, all live and work on this ranch together. I'm here to help this family redo the kitchen in their farmhouse. It's just gonna be the girls working on this kitchen renovation with me. Brian needs to keep the ranch running. So this weekend, it's gonna be pure girl power. I've got five Marys, of course I've got five projects, and by the end of this weekend, we are gonna have an awesome farmhouse kitchen. So great. Yeah, this is our little kitchen. Okay. So when we moved here, we thought that this would kind of be our weekend house. Okay. Appropriate for the weekend, right? Yeah, so appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we were still gonna kind of have our life in Silicon Valley and come up here on the weekends. So we kind of just did the bare bones. Hi, I'm Mary of Five Mary's Farms and we are out here in Fort Jones, California. My husband and I live here on the farm with our four daughters, all named Mary, but they don't go by Mary, they all go by nicknames. So Mary Frances is Francie, Mary Marjorie is Maisie, Mary Jane goes by JJ, and Mary Teresa goes by Tess. We moved up to this ranch three years ago, and we live in the tiny house that used to be a chicken coop. It's 780 square feet, but um, we're super happy in our little cozy house. So tell me kind of what's going on here, what you'd like to see changed and everything. Well, I love this little kitchen. I thought when we moved in here, that you know, I'd need to kind of have more elbow room, but actually it works great for us. We're usually kind of rushing in at the end of the night to make dinner, so the, the smallness of the kitchen is fine, but um, I'd love to get rid of these upper cabinets. I feel like it's just sort of dated, and you know, the, the new giant fridges don't really work with the smaller cabinets. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. um, kind of dwarf everything. Yeah, exactly. I don't love the upper cabinets. We don't have to store a ton in our small kitchen because we have another bunkhouse that serves as storage, and the upper cabinets make it feel a little bit dark and probably a little more cramped than it needs to be. Style-wise, you still want it to fit with the rest of the house, like still kind of rustic, but a little bit more updated, is that? Yeah, exactly. I do like the kind of rustic ranch style. Yeah, absolutely. And I think if we did anything too modern, it just wouldn't fit with the rest of the house. And that's what I love. It doesn't have to be perfect. All okay. right, <laughs> and then Brian's gonna handle ranch, you're handling kitchen with me? How's that's, the, what's that's the plan? That's the plan. He's pretty much busy, sun up to sun down. Okay. out on the ranch, but, and the girls will help him and um, kind of be back and forth, but I'm ready to do this kitchen. I think it'll be really fun to kind of surprise him too. Yeah. So the first thing we do need to do is to empty everything out of here. Okay. So we'll clear out the kitchen, and then today's biggest focus is demo. Okay. All right. Demo day. Demo Get day. Tool belt. <laughs> <laughs> so these girls range between five and 10 years old, which is pretty young, but because they work on an active ranch, they're used to helping out with all kinds of projects. So this weekend, they're actually gonna be really helpful. All right guys, so we have five Marys and we have one Maddie, okay? And we're all gonna work in demoing this kitchen together. I hear you girls are pretty handy, right? You help out around the farm? Yeah. yeah. You're good at fixing things? Yeah. Are you good at breaking things? Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Even better. So let's get everything out of here and then we can demo. Yeah. yeah. All right, five Marys hands in. Right. One Monica, one Maddie. All the M's. And we'll say we're seven Marys this weekend, okay? <laughs> seven Marys! <laughs> all right, let's do this, guys. This doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> Watch out, Mary Matt. Got it. This is gonna be the easiest demo ever. We have an army of Marys. <laughs> the cupboards are empty! Alright, let's unload all this stuff. Here you go. Sourdough. 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 Oh, the Matt's balking at the window. Jay, you might need to feed him. Okay. <laughs> like a drive-up window for the cow. Like, hey. like this. She's a little baby pens out there, but it makes it really nice in those early mornings. Okay, so she's literally feeding the cow at the window. <laughs> Why? Yeah. This one was a twin. 
So when they have a twin, they usually abandon one and we take it in and it becomes a bottled baby and kind of part of the family. Well, it's definitely the first demo I've ever had to stop and be like, wait, we're feeding a cow through the window. <laughs> All right, let's do some demo. We're removing all of their cabinets plus the floor because, well, this is the weekender and I've got some big plans for them. That said, we are saving the sink and the countertops because they've got some of that nice built-in rustic character that I really want this kitchen to have. Watch it, Matt. It can be replaced. One more thing that we're gonna rip out. The floor! Yeah! The first order of business for me and Maddie is getting some new base cabinets installed before the Marys jump back in and help me to customize them. All right, girls, so you ready to help on the first project where we put the kitchen kind of back together? Yeah. Demo was fun though, right? Yeah. yeah. It's usually the best part of a makeover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys were pretty amazing at it. I, I was they very did a good impressed. Job. I was too. Job. So I thought you girls would be the perfect ones to help us on this first project, okay? So Matt and I put in new cabinets. You guys can see at the base wow. there. Those yeah. ones are all new. And what we're using here is stock cabinetry, but it's solid oak and they're just gonna hold up really nicely. I like these and I got them unfinished. So they're yeah. ready for us to finish. You could stain yeah. them, you could do whatever you want. We are gonna to paint them. Got any guesses of color? Orange. Orange, pink. <laughs> Mom, did you request those? I don't know. What do you guys think JJ would pick? Rainbow. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Mom's hoping it's the opposite of rainbow. <laughs> I, I think, think, think you'd be happy. Okay. I think if I had to describe this color, I could Black. say it's the opposite of rainbow. <gasps> yes. Black. Awesome. It's Black. like a combination of it's all so of pretty. them. So like cool. I love it. I chose black because it'll provide a classic backdrop for everything else I have planned in the room. When we're painting here, we want to use long brush strokes, okay? We want to kind of not put too much paint on our brush, all right? We don't want any globs, and we're just kind of going back and forth. Now that the cabinets are good to go, we're getting to work on the showstopper of this kitchen, the flooring. Matt and the girls are laying backer board down over the subfloor to get it ready for our new tile, which I cannot wait for Mary to see. She's got some things around the ranch to take care of first, so Maddie and I are getting it started and are gonna surprise her with it when she's done. <laughs> All right, well, while you were doing chores, Matt yep. and I made some serious progress on this floor. It's going down really quickly, so it's like a mini reveal. Okay. So check it out. Can't wait to see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I love it. Isn't it oh. cool? Is it black and white? Black and white cement oh, tile. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. With the black cabinets. It's gonna look so great, right? Oh my gosh, this is awesome. So we're, I told you I'd keep the rustic elements, but I wanted a little bit kind of updated modern flair to it too, and this is your, your modern flair. This is it, it is amazing. The best part is how awesome it looks, but the second best part is how quick and easy this install is going. It's very simple to put together. Okay, sounds great. Have you ever tiled before? I have never tiled. It's one of those things that I um, have always wanted to learn, and I just kind of shied away from. You've been too busy learning how to like <laughs> birth calves and keep the animals alive and do everything else. So I feel kind of good that there's like one thing you can't yeah. do. I'll Not be Tyler, <laughs> but now you can teach me and then I can put it on my list. So these spacers here, they're one eighth inch, so they're pretty thin. Um, but on this, the grout isn't really going to be the star of the show. We want right. the tile to be. So the grout will just be white and kind of minimalist. These cement tiles are eight inches by eight inches and create a repeating pattern every four tiles. So they're super easy to lay down. All right, so we need to go out and make these cuts right now, so we'll go out to the wet saw, because otherwise we won't be able to reach them. So Matt will keep going, and then you and I will just head out to the okay. saw. Okay, so this platform here is what moves, all right? It's a sliding table, and the saw blade stays stationary. So the blade isn't super sharp like on a chop saw, okay? And so there's water in there, and that way it doesn't split the tile. Nice. It's messy, but kind of simple, and it gets the job done. Okay. And what's really cool about this cobalt one is that it has a laser level line. Oh, so you wow. can see. Yeah. It shows you exactly where you're about to cut. So okay. it just makes it really easy.
The girls are up bright and early today keeping the project on schedule. They're such hard workers. I've got them painting some paneling that I plan to use somewhere in the kitchen. Just wait and see. And while they're doing that, Mary and I are working on a build that's going to add some more family function to the space. All right, we got our cut here, and you're probably wondering what this is for, because <laughs> I mentioned we're not replacing your countertops, and here we are cutting countertops. Butcher block's good anywhere. Butcher block's good anywhere. Good, I like that answer. So I wanted to get another piece to add a larger breakfast bar for the girls oh, along nice. the back side of the cabinets. Awesome. So we have, this is gonna be the depth, so I figured it's wide enough that they can put a bowl and a drink and eat yeah. there, but thin enough that you're still gonna be able to get through that area. Definitely, this will be way better for them to actually eat a whole meal at. Um, all right, so we're gonna use black pipe and put it together as brackets. Okay. So I think this will really look nice, yeah. add a little more industrial, you know, I promised that everything outside of that flooring was gonna have more of a rustic ranch feel to it, and yeah. I think this galvanized pipe. Cool, so that'll that. go to the back of the countertop and then hold yep. this up. So this butcher box looks squeaky clean new right now. Yes. So I want it to match the aging that you already have on your existing butcher box, so we're actually gonna stain it uh, using this early American kind of tone. I played around with a few different colors and this one kind of mimics all the five Mary's love you've given, <laughs> given <laughs> the well other. countertops. You like it? Yeah, it looks great. I okay. love the color. I mean, easy work. Let's see how close our stain matched your character. Looks awesome. Looks pretty good, right? Yeah, that's a great match. All right, so take your piece and then we actually tux. Nice. Right in there. Okay, so pull that off. We're gonna put the brackets on first and okay. then we'll sit this on. We're screwing the pipe flanges directly into the homeowner's pre-existing wood wall. Because it's not drywall, we don't need to find studs. I love an easy project that will add tons of functionality, especially in kind of a smaller kitchen. Yeah, this will be great. All right, let's slide these in. Good, touch yeah. there. All right, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Looks it looks awesome, I love it. I really like how the black pipe and the black and white tile work together. I think that's kind of what's making this design work because we have pretty modern floors, we have industrial pipe, we have tons of rustic wood, but it's kind of all working. I love it. It's a perfect place for the girls to sit and hang out and it blends right in. It looks like it was always meant to be there. Okay, cool. So I had a unique idea for a backsplash. Instead of doing a traditional tile backsplash, we're using these four by eight kind of rustic panels as our backsplash. This paneling, I had the girls help me paint it. It came in like a gray color, which is really nice, but I wanted it to be nice and bright for this kitchen, kind of almost like as if we did white subway tile, but kind of a ranch take on it. So Matt and I are gonna use some liquid nails on the back and then some paneling nails and we'll pop it right up. It's gonna be like the easiest, quickest uh, kitchen backsplash install ever. <laughs> So that took us about one minute to put up a piece of backsplash. That would have taken us at least an hour, right? To tile it and worry about cuts. This is such a weekender friendly project and the texture and the panels, it looks perfect for this kitchen style. On to the second phase of this project, it's the open shelving. And one of the major perks to being on a ranch and a farm is that they have tons of awesome old lumber around. So I have some rough sawn lumber that I cut down to size and those are actually gonna be our shelves. So when I was at Lowe's, I found these brackets. They're actually supposed to be used in a garage for like utility shelving, but I thought they'd be perfect in this farmhouse kitchen. I like their simple design and they're gonna work perfectly for these shelves. I think the balance of the clean black with this rustic wood is gonna be great. So what Matt's been doing is just directly attaching them into the wall, into our studs. We'll put this final one up and then we'll add our reclaimed boards. So these boards that I found were actually from Brian and Mary's old bunkhouse. These boards are, how old would you say? I mean, at least 100 years old. So it's really cool that we could kind of bring some of the history back into this kitchen. Yeah, close to 400 years old, actually. <laughs> close to 400? Well, they did the tree, but then they cut it. <laughs> Matt just said this wood could be 400 years old. I think he might be exaggerating, but I'm gonna run with it. 400 year old open shelves for the win. <laughs> 900. 
900. Every time Matt refers to the wood, it's older. So on the count of three, you can open your eyes. One, two, three. Oh wow. my! Oh my! Oh my God! Look at that. That's beautiful. It doesn't even look like it the does same. Does not look like the house. Same it feels like bigger and wider. And oh, wow. oh my God, I am in love with the shelves. So it's actually garage shelving. It's supposed to be like utility oh, shelving nice. in a garage. But I thought it's for this kitchen, shelving. it was perfect. Yeah, heavy yeah. duty. Brian will approve. These uh, shelves here, are those from uh, from the old house? Yep. They're like in beautiful shape. And those were all from wood that was yeah, milled here on the ranch. 1868 wood milled on the ranch. 1868? Uh -huh. well, Matt, that's when Matt and I built, were guessing. So. And he started at 100 years old, and then he was like, it's 400 years old. Then he said, it's 900 <laughs> year old wood. <laughs> We actually didn't change the footprint. I brought back in a ton of furniture that you already had, but really the bones of this kitchen were very good. Yeah. So we just did some key projects like the floor, which is yeah. a little contemporary flooring. I we're calling it contemporary, but actually this is like old school. It's just kind right. of come back. Right. <laughs> I love that you kept our countertops too. Yeah, and then actually, if you just kind of look over here, you'll see oh, yeah. that you we see added this? new butcher block over there and gave a space for oh all the gosh. girls to sit and have breakfast, have That's, stools there, and it looks aged. There? Yeah. Wow. And then Those the, are nice. the metal pipe holding it up. Yeah, I love the galvanized pipe or the black pipe there. Rustic and modern at the same time. This just, is a girl power makeover all the way. It was. Five Marys and a Monica. And a Maddie. And a Maddie. <sighs> Speaking of girl power and how awesome your girls were this weekend, I am dying for them to see it too. So you want to grab them? Let's go get them. I right. can't wait for them to see. Okay, girls, on the count of three, you can open your eyes. One, two, three, open. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> are these our own spinny chairs? Yes. <gasps> my oh, wait, wait, that was mine. This one's mine. Oh, you okay, ready? Because you're the tiniest, tiniest, so you go Tiny lower. goes at the oh, top. Okay, so this so is ready? the one. Everybody's going to do that one. Gigi, 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 Gigi. Gigi. I have the smallest. You guys knocked all the cabinets Whoa. down. What do you think now? I like them much, much better. That's much, much better. And those are all new cabinets that we put in. That we painted, and there, the, oh, right there is the board. Yes, there's that the board that you painted. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. So it's all along the back. That's called a backsplash. I like everything. Everything. <laughs> All right, well thanks for all of your help, girls. You made this weekender so much easier. Well, five Marys agree that this makeover was a huge success, but I'd love to know what you guys think, so leave me a comment below and let me know. And make sure, as always, that you're subscribed to the Lowe's YouTube channel so you don't miss a single episode of The Weekender. This weekend I'm in South Philadelphia working on a new weekender challenge. It's the first time we're actually tackling a home gym. If I'm gonna like really design it for you, I kind of need to see what you're talking about here. Drop and give me 10. One. Like this. Two. <laughs> three. Get lowered.